Love or Not to Love, Episode 5, The Confession. John and James go out to dinner one night after work to catch up about their lives. Hey James, thanks for coming out to dinner. It's been a long time since we've been able to go out and grab some drinks and dinner after work. Yeah, it's been way too long. Sarah's always on my back about going straight home from work. Also, you and I have been pretty distant lately. What's been going on? Well, that's actually why I wanted to have dinner with you tonight. James, I need to tell you something, but you can't tell anyone. Please tell me you didn't find a new job. People's finance won't be what it is without you. No, not a new job. Any other guesses? Does there been a promotion I didn't know about? No, not that either. It doesn't have to do with work. Well, it kind of does, but not really. I'm lost. What is it, John? I met a girl. Someone I'm into, and I think she's the one. No way. In all the years I've known you, you've only had one girlfriend, and she was awful. You've gone on countless first dates, but never a second. How is she different? She is smart, beautiful, and she genuinely cares about me. Makes all the difference. So, where did you meet this liking girl? And why is she such a secret? Well, if it were different circumstances, I would be shouting from the rooftops about her. But... It's Rachel from work. Ha ha ha, you're kidding, right? No, I'm serious, James. No, John, you can't do that. We just rolled out the new code of ethics, and the main new point was no dating in the workplace. You and her could both get fired, and that's not my idea of romantic, John. James, I know. I didn't want to fall for her. It's just... Just nothing, John. It's not an option. Unless you want to get fired, and her to get fired. This is your career on the line. Something you're striving to build for years, and you're just going to throw it all away for some girl you met? You can't be serious, John. It's not just some girl to me, James. She's way more than that. James starts gathering his stuff and leaving very visibly upset. Are you leaving, James? Thus, I am. You have now put my career on the line by telling me this. I thought we were better friends than that, James. I'll see you tomorrow at work. After James left from dinner, he went home. He shared everything about the conversation that he just had with John at dinner to his wife, Sarah. He doesn't know what to decide because he doesn't want to ruin their close friendship. I cannot believe John. I still feel like he's going to call you any minute and tell you he is just kidding. And it was a test of the new code of ethics rule. No, Sarah. He was serious. I asked him multiple times and he said he was serious. I got very upset. He just let me leave and didn't say anything. You must tell HR, James. You cannot let this get out. And people find out you knew and you get fired. You have worked hard and you can't lose all that over someone else's mistake. I know, Sarah. That's the right thing to do. I'm just scared to ruin our friendship. Seems like it's already ruined to me, James. Okay, Sarah. I don't want to stress any more about this. I will go to Human Resources tomorrow morning. Good decision. Good night, James. I love you. Good night, Sarah. I love you too. Will James truly go to the Human Resources Department in the morning? Is he really willing to put his close friendship with John at risk to make the right decision? Stay tuned to find out in the next episode of To Love or Not To Love.